Gotham, did, do you believe that there's an afterlife? I I do believe there is something like afterlife. There is. Okay. I, I can't prove or something, but I do believe. Okay. Okay. There's something. Do you, do you believe that there's an heaven and hell? Uh, that's what we've been hearing all about, but uh, somewhere I would I would like deep down I wouldn't say like completely maybe sixty percent I would drawn to like there might be okay and then okay what would you say your faith background is like how you were raised and uh, then what you currently believe I was born Hindu okay but I I believe in like all the religions that's okay. that's how we've been brought up like okay maybe Christianity uh, Islam or say Though I gotcha. believe Buddhism, whatever religions okay. exist, I totally respect it. So because like, I believe there's like one single entity out there, like we gotta respect it and like we gotta believe there is gotcha. some okay. part. Yeah. So kind of like there can be like many truths. There can be absolutely. Okay. There okay. can be. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um, have you ever heard of the term being born again? Yes, I did. Yeah. I've been to. I've visited like a couple of like. Town North Church. I've uh, been there like oh. every Sunday, like okay. with one of the Michael Bikari member. So he's been taking me like, and it's like I've been yeah. doing the like what you call it session uh, mass, like yeah. So I have been uh, not sure what that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Is that is that a church? It's a, it's a church. Town North oh. Church in Plano. So I have, is it a Christian church. It's a Christian. Okay, church. gotcha. Okay. So I've been hearing that term over there and in our oh, gotcha. in okay. our uh, religion too we've been heard of that born again there is in uh, in hinduism. hinduism okay that's right gotcha have you been born again uh no okay good, good. maybe i am i don't know okay, okay. maybe the previous life yeah. okay I was something okay. else <laughs> reincarnated into Reincarn- being born again okay maybe. um what would what it's would you say one must do to get to heaven good deeds good deeds be kind to another one another that's why you're here that's why we're here. Yeah. Okay. Um, have you ever heard of the gospel? I did. Yeah? Yes, I did. Okay. Can I ask you what that might be? Uh, I don't too much into it, but okay. yeah, from my Christian friends, like I've been visited church a couple of times through the, yeah. what do you call that? I'm not going to tell them. Um, um, someone delivers a... An sign. evangelist? Just a, a preacher? Yeah. Pastor? Okay. Yeah, pastor. Okay, that's right. Gotcha. So, I've so been, you've heard it, but you, you might not fully understand it. I fully understand, but Okay. Yeah. Okay. I heard the term like a couple of times, like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you believe that you're a good person? Uh, oh, look, it's. I, I sometimes I'm a really good person. Sometimes okay. I'll be like, I'll be annoyed at myself. Like, right. uh, I should have not done this way. Like, I was rude or something. Maybe okay. in terms of that, yeah. But in in person, as a person, what you feel always, you're a right person. You you you're doing good. You're, you're not harming anyone as such. Okay. So how are you doing? Yeah. I'm good. I'm yeah. absolutely uh, fine. I just have regrets like <laughs> regrets in the months. It might be materialistic, like you could have been in a better place or something. Only that regrets, but as a person, I feel like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I don't know how many months are. I'm pretty good. Okay. okay. Um, what do you think about the Bible? Do you believe that that's God's inerrant word without I, error? It's it's solely. I, I do believe. I, true. I, I, I've had in a couple of sessions, so okay. I feel it's wow. uh, really. Intriguing, yeah. like it's gotcha. something eye-opening. Okay. Uh, you feel like learning more, and it's interesting. It's, well, so you're open to hearing the the truth, and 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 yes. Can we share that gospel message with you? Sure, you can. Okay. You can go ahead. Awesome. Yeah. So as I said, I'm open to like. Yeah. Audio. Okay. Yeah. I so appreciate that. Thank I would you. I would love to have the honor in doing that. So what I like to do is I like to just uh, I like to challenge you on a couple of questions on how mm-hmm. or on a couple of answers that you gave and how you answered them. Um, when we asked you, do you think yourself to be a good person, you said yes. And so, um, I want to ask you a few uncomfortable questions. But before I ask you these uncomfortable questions, I want to uh, let you know that it comes from a loving heart. The reason why we're out here is because we, we, we care about people in it. the eternal aspect of where they're going to spend eternity. Mm-hmm. And as Christians, we believe there's two destinations. That's right. Either people are going to heaven or they're going to hell. hell. And so you did say that you answered that you believe in a heaven and a hell. And so let me tell you, let me give you an understanding of how to better assess where you stand as far as uh, that good aspect. So the Bible says there's only one person who's good, and that person is God, Mm. right? Mm -hmm. So God gave us the moral law, the Ten Commandments, to to, to use as a mirror to assess how we would stand before God, okay? 
the Bible says we will stand before judgment. There is a day of judgment. And we'll go to different, different places. Yeah. So the first question I want to ask you is, have you ever spoken a lie? Oh, I don't, I don't say like I haven't. It's, it's whenever necessary, like, yeah. I hate to lie, but yeah, sometimes it's, you can't avoid it, like, it's. But a lie is a lie, right? Yeah, it's just, a lie. just understand. Yeah. This I don't is not lie. exclusive. I, I don't want to lie again, like, I didn't lie. <laughs> it's <laughs> equations, yeah. Right. And, and it doesn't matter what color it is, right? Yeah, it's, it might be a small lie, but, but it's a lie. It's, but a it's lie. still a lie. Yeah. And just understand, right. this is not exclusion. Mm -hmm. we're, this, yeah. we're a part of this. We're guilty of all these as well. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Have you ever stolen anything? Still, um, not a big thing or something. Maybe a small, okay. small, okay. still, still same or something. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Still same concept. Doesn't matter right. the, the the value or That's the right. size. It's That's still right. the fact that you've stolen something. Um, have you ever used God's name in vain? God's name. Uh, I'm I'm such character. Like I'm like not too much of a believer of God or something. But I believe there's some entity out there. So I haven't used God's name like I just said like. Not, not Have you ever like smashed your toe or gotten mad at somebody and said OMG or? Uh, I did. Okay. So that in the Bible is considered blasphemy. And just to kind of give you some emphasis on how severe that was in the Old Testament, when people would do that, mm -hmm. uh, they, they, would be they, would, they would be put to death. Mm -hmm. Blasphemy resulted in death. When you use God's name in vain, it resulted in death. Let me ask you a question. Would you ever use your mother's name in such a way to express disgust? Oh, uh, no. no. Well, can I ask you why? Why would you not do that? Uh, Mom is something precious. Like, uh, it's always like you get hurt or something, you just remember, remember your mom or something. Like, it's, okay. In Hinduism, like, yeah. mom is like really, it's it's equivalent to God. Like, you consider like, more than that, like, no offense, but mom is like someone, it comes automatically. Sure. She's okay. very closest to you. Okay. You, you don't express much, but still, okay. she's always in there. Like, so mm -hmm. you... Don't really, uh, yeah, use a yeah. name. So in relation to where you said to God, as in your mother to God, you wouldn't use your mom's name to express disgust because that would be dishonoring her, right? Yes. But you honor your mom. You love your mom. Correct. You respect your mom. She means so much to you. Yeah. Your mom gave you life. Be a part of love. Part of her, like, right. yeah, it's just. Where God, the one true God, he gave you life. Mm -hmm. He gave your mom life so That's that right. you could come along. But true. we use God's name in vain all the time mm -hmm. and we don't even think twice about it right. but isn't it interesting how now that that's put in perspective you can, can you can weigh the two out i don't use my mom's name but i use god's name in vain right. and again that resulted in uh in uh in death in the old testament okay mm -hmm. so one more have you ever looked at another person with lust oh yeah okay it is. same we are humans emotions okay. yeah so yeah. let me just it's touch hard, on an elaboration yeah. right. of what jesus said and how that can be understood and applied to the, mm -hmm. to the individual's life, the sinner's life. Jesus said, if you look at another person with lust, you commit adultery with that person in your heart. Mm -hmm. Specifically, he said her, speaking from a, to, to a man about a woman. You commit adultery in your heart with her. So it's not the act in itself, it's the intent of the heart. That's right. And but that's, if you're more sp into spirituality, I feel that lust is a little radius or like you don't get the feeling too often, but yeah. Well, Being spiritual as yeah, it's not easy. I'd say right. regardless of the Still amount, <laughs> I think the the emphasis I'm trying to apply is trying to bring awareness to you of how we can assess ourselves as being truly good before God. So I thank you so much. I know that these are uncomfortable questions. No, I'm but good. again, I express these to you because I care about you, and I'm just trying to give you an understanding of how you stand in this understanding of goodness before God. Okay. So, based on those four commandments. Mm -hmm. That's only four of the ten. If you were to stand before God on Judgment Day, which we all will, is He going to sentence? Is He going to? Is He going to sentence you to being innocent or guilty? Uh, it's up to Him. But yeah, I would like. I would the days coming ahead, like what life I have. Obviously, I'll I'll try to be do good good things, good do whatever it does. So how's that going to hold up in a court of law? Right. Let's say you're being convicted for heinous heinous fines that you have stacked against you. Mm -hmm. But you say, oh, but judge, will you at least consider all the good things that I do? Like I, I, I walked a woman across the street and I held the door open for her as I walked into this courtroom. Mm -hmm. I give money to the poor. Like I do yeah. all these other good things. Can you at least consider those? What's the no. judge going to say? He's going to say, right. that's great. But, yeah, but the point, the fact is, is, is you've broken the law. 
Correct. Therefore, I'm a judge. I must justly send out, uh, send out justice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so, right. based that's on that, it. then he's going to sentence you to be innocent or guilty. Guilty. Hmm. Heaven Both. or hell? How does that concern you? Uh, not really, but maybe once I'm there, it will concern me, definitely. It absolutely right will. Yeah, it will. Um, um, but so, that's the bad news, okay? But let me express the good news to you. This is the gospel, and this is why we're here, mm-hmm. okay? God sent His Son to die on the cross, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. In the court of law, though you have heinous fines stacked up against you, if someone comes in and says, hey, I'll pay those fines, the judge can legally let you go and set you free. Yeah. And so in brief summation, that's what Jesus did on the cross. We broke God's law, but yeah. Jesus paid the fine. He died us for all the sinners. Yeah. That's right. right. Those heinous fines, as it applies in a civil court, mm-hmm. is what sin is. We have a heinous amount of sin stacked up against us, and we can't pay those back because we are sinful. But Christ Jesus is sinless. And He came in the flesh and He lived a life that we can never live. He upheld the law. Where we stumble at the law every single day, Jesus never failed. And so He died a sinner's death, though sinless, on the cross. And because of that, and because His blood is precious, He can make an atonement for whoever's sins they are, no matter how many they are. And then three days later, Jesus was raised from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit, which was justifying that Jesus was the Messiah. And now He sits at the right hand of the throne of the Father as our High high Priest and intercedes on our behalf. So here's the thing, here's the call. This is the reason why we're here. The call is for you to acknowledge your sin and how you have sinned against the one true God and to repent and then to have faith in Christ Jesus and His accomplished work. Because you said yourself, that it takes works in order to get to heaven. Correct. That right. you considered yourself to be a good person. And the whole thing, the whole reason why I was expressing to you the law and what Christ did is because you can never do enough to earn your salvation. The Bible says that you are hopeless apart from Christ. And because of Christ and only because of Christ and His accomplished work, can you receive mercy from God, forgiveness of sins, and you can receive eternal life. But the call for the sinner is to acknowledge his sinfulness, mm-hmm. repent forsaking his sin, and to submit himself to Christ Jesus having faith in him. Do you understand that? I get it. Yeah. Can, I, can I share a couple things too? I just want to share, as far as reaching heaven and, and what you must do, it's solely on Christ alone. And it's, it's by grace alone. Do you know what grace means? Oh, uh, something. It's, uh, it's, it's actually unmerited... Um, unmerited favor yeah so we're not doing anything to receive something we didn't we don't we don't deserve Mm -hmm. Um, so it's a free gift and it's it's solely on God choosing uh, whom he's going to Mm -hmm. essentially save Mm -hmm. and it's and it's it's through repentance and faith but let me let me share share with you what John 3 3 says Mm -hmm. this is Jesus talking to Nicodemus Mm -hmm. Um, he said truly truly I say to you unless one is born again he will not see the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. Um, what does that mean? That means you have to be spiritually reborn. It means you have to have a transformation of your heart. Mm-hmm. And the only way to get there is through repentance and faith in Christ alone. Um, it says in John 3.36, listen to this, it says, uh, He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides in him. And so what does that mean? It means that if you're outside of Christ, that means the wrath of God is currently on you. And so that's what concerns us to the eternity at stake. Gotcha. And so we're concerned about where people are going to spend eternity. People have a soul mm-hmm. and there's either two destinations. It's either separated from God or his wrath is being mm-hmm. laid upon that person for, for justice, for the crimes they committed against him, or it's been poured out on, on Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. And that's only applied to those who place their faith and trust in him alone not by works not by baptism not by attending a church service or reading scripture it's solely recognizing your need for a savior and recognize the fact that he was the only one who could do it and make it possible so the question really comes down to when do you think you might get right with god 
maybe towards the end of my life. That's that's how it is. Like well, yeah, yeah. You know, done busy with life. So it's just like a deathbed experience. Yeah. But let me let me let me emphasize a little bit of urgency there. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow is tomorrow promised. No. Nah. Right. You never know. Yeah. Even the next five minutes it's or the next breath correct. is not promised. So we don't know exactly. the day or hour that we're going to die. That's right. And so we just want to emphasize that you would consider everything we've shared with you, and 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 just think about the from think about it from an eternal perspective, right? Because that's what yes. really matters most is where are we going to spend our eternity. And that's why we're here. We're just sharing that message and quite quite informative. Effect. Yeah, it was really really good. Good awesome. experience. Thank yeah. you. Thank Listen you. to this, and yes. then we'll, we'll conclude. Sure. I appreciate your time. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much. Yeah. Thank you. In Mark eight thirty six and thirty seven, it says, "What does it profit a man if he gains right. the whole world yet forfeits his soul?" What's being expressed there is living your life. This is all temporary. Correct. This is all going to go away. It's going to be like a vapor in the wind, what the Bible says, right. in the grand scheme of eternity. Don't let this life be all that matters because Correct. there's another life after this, and you believe in that. So I would say, agreeing with my brother here, mm-hmm. considering that tomorrow's not guaranteed, think about those things. Please don't walk away from here not considering what it is that we've said because you're not guaranteed tomorrow, and there is an eternity at stake. And and That's right. and don't just take what we're saying at face value. Put it to the test. Um, Definitely, we'd love to just give you one of these. This is, sure. a, this is a this is a Bible. I love to have it. It's yeah. it's it's a New Testament only. Yes. Um, there's there Actually, is an Old Testament a Bible, but yeah, this is this looks different. Well, this, yeah, yeah, this one helps walk you through. It's it's a it's got a Bible plan in it, a reading mm-hmm. plan to Got get it. to know, and 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 it's and it's got steps to you know. So but, yeah, yeah, I, it's love that. I, I'm open to like learning like. Christianity awesome. and maybe it's, it's, it's beautiful yeah. understanding and like the wow. belief and it's a lot of things are quite similar like Hinduism and the afterlife and heaven hell yeah it's, the terminology is my different but it's quite right. the same so yeah I, I would say the only different thing jo- uh, right. different different uh, deities different gods mm-hmm. they might be believers at the end of the day that's the one single entity out there yeah. and that's true there's there's as we've studied Hinduism there's there's there are similarities like for instance there's a triad mm-hmm. and then we have the trinity well the Correct. triad is what brahma vishnu. shiva and uh is it vishnu vishnu, yeah, vishnu yeah right so there's three but then ultimately there's a plurality of gods but there's millions and millions of god and they just, and, and jesus is kind of just thrown in there right or we say there's it's it's not three gods it's one god yes in three separate persons that's right so it's um, like different personality yeah, Inside yeah. Different emotions. Different However, it's yeah. solely on the work of Christ. All right. Not anything we can do, because that's where different. That's where different di- Christianity right. differs among other religions. It's something you have to work. You have to work your salvation out. That's true. Whereas Christianity totally is. On this. Yeah. Hey Gotham, Thank you. Yeah. I want to give you my business card. You can use that as a bookmark. Um, yeah, sure. Just Thank to you. show you and express to you that I do care about you. Thank you, Jason. If yeah. you ever have any questions, like my contact information's on there. Yeah. Reach out to me. Mm-hmm. I would love just to know how you're doing in the near future. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, if that. you ever, sure. if you give me your information, I won't hassle you. I just care about you, and I just want to, I just, I just want to, I just want to see how you're doing in the Definitely. future. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, that's so sweet. That's awesome. awesome. Thank, thank you. Thank Thanks you so much, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, before Plain you go, can I pray for you? Definitely. Yeah. Please. Okay. Thank you so I'll, much. Yeah. Is it okay if I place my hand on you? Sure. Okay. Awesome. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time. We thank you for this time to be able to share the gospel, the glorious truth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Would you bless this time and bless Gotham's life, bless him with a further um, uh, mercies and grace that would help lead him to a knowledge and understanding of the truth. Father, let your will be done, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.